loading into the map. Well, onto the base. <coughs> I'll start talking at 15 seconds. What is up everybody and welcome back to the last day on Earth Survival. So, I got an email from Kefa this morning saying, thank you for the patience, relaunch the game and check your inbox. They've replaced the steel, but instead of 80, they have given me 150 steel. That is ridiculous. So, with 150 steel, I might even actually be able to make this into a 2x3. Let's have a look. So I'm going to need 30. Uh, oof, it is going to involve ripping up some doors, unfortunately. Let's go 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, and then bring that up 25 to 135. So I can make an entire 2x3 out of steel. But... 135. Uh, nah, not enough to make it a 3x3, unfortunately. But, whew, I am tempted to just start working on this as a 3x3 three three instead. I mean, it would be one wall wasted, but a 3x3 three three gives so much more space. I think I'm going to do it. Let's go for it. Right. Uh, let's stash that away. <laughs> look at that, look at all that steel. Uh, feels good. Um, oh yeah, probably going to be wanting some nice game sound. Where are... there we go. And uh, let's do that. And I know I've got some more around somewhere. Hmm. Right then. So... So we're going to want to do it like this. So let's upgrade that one. Uh, that one's aluminium, of course. We'll upgrade that one. So that, that'll be for the... Right, and then... Okay, so now, now we're going to need the aluminium. Right. One, two. <laughs> okay, whilst I've got enough to make the steel part of it, I haven't got anywhere near enough aluminium. Right. So, next up, gonna want to rip this wall up. And gonna want to turn that into a normal wall. And then, hmm, have I got, there we go. Okay. Go for that one. And then that one. Can I get me? Yep, definitely got a bit more. And we'll go for that. And I'll save that one for now. Right. Hmm. I need to find some stuff to upgrade that to a normal wall. So there's one bit of oak. Have I got any other lovely bits of oak lying around? I know I do. I cannot remember where. Three more, perhaps? Stored away? <laughs> oh, this is annoying. I didn't, I was, yeah, honestly, I wasn't expecting ever to get the steel back. So I had quite a while to be able to finish this. But no, apparently, Kefir support are amazing. Right, let's get some more of this turning into them. I think I've actually got, yay, oh look, I have one steel, aren't I lucky? Right. Have I honestly not got... Hmm. Just need a little bit of wood. <laughs> I can't believe I actually haven't got the wood to do this. That's... <laughs> uh, that's annoying. Right. I've got to have oak somewhere. I actually don't. Wow. Did not expect that. Right, well. Let's. You know what? Let us store that in there. I am going to have to go out on an oak run. So, I'm just going to have this up episode as upgrading my base. 
so I will cut back. <laughs> Look, and there's my snorkel. I uh, love it. Right, I will cut back when I'm ready to begin the upgrading. So I'll see you all in a moment. What is up, everybody? I'm back. So I've been doing the upgrades, and look what I've done. I'm pretty happy with this. So I've got, I think it's 40 more steel left in a in one of my safes over there. But I ran out of aluminium, so I've got some of that cooking up now. Oh, I've got some steel in my inventory. Decided not to add in that square because I'd already got this wall here. And if I added in that square of steel, then it would have taken 50 more steel just to add, upgrade to have this little cube. Whereas it, yeah, only cost 20 to have it as this section. So I'm missing out on one storage slot, but it's not the end of the world. And, ooh, you know what I think I might do? Uh, that is a box of random stuff. So, how about we bring our trusty turret into here? And I'm dying of thirst. Fantastic. Uh, drink, drink. And dying of hunger too. Exactly what you want to be happening on a... What day is it? I think it's Thursday morning. Yes, yeah, Thursday. Right. So yeah, made a few changes to the layout of the base. You now come in through here. If you want to go to the forges, you go that way. And if you want to get to the rest of the storage of the base, you go that way. And to get into the back section, you have to loop around like this. But now that I have finally, finally, finally gotten this pretty much complete, I've just got to wait on the aluminium. I think next I'm gonna upgrade this door here. Hmm. Well, what should I do? That door, or this wall, or this wall, or this wall. I'm probably going to go for a wall just because the door takes 25. Yeah. Hmm. Most likely this wall here. But I have brought in my generators into this room now just to drop them down on the floor. I'm probably not going to keep the turret in here because no one gets this room anyway. And I've got such a massive raid timer, I can't keep the turret powered for that long. So there's no point in having it up, take up one of my very valuable storage spaces. Can I not? I want to move you, please. Then you can go there. Ready to shoot at anyone that breaks down my front door. Right, there's that done. And I will, of course, bring back in... Uh, where did I put it? Furniture, where's the red box? Okay, that can come back in like that. Right, don't know what's in this box. Oh, this is old building resources box. All the red ones were resources. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Right, yeah, so I'm gonna need to go through and sort out all of these. So this is shotgun C4, other guns, meds and some guns, other guns, a few more guns, a few more gun bits, I've just got guns absolutely everywhere. Right, I am... Let's have a quick look at the raiders' tasks and see what they want. Hello. Um, they want quite a lot, so this is all going to have to wait until the bunker resets. Um, when do we get the bunker back? I think it's probably in about 12 hours, maybe? Although, no, I opened it yesterday, didn't I? Go away, you humanitarian aid box. Yeah, one day, two hours. All right, I'll finish this episode off with a revenge raid. So I'll be back when that is ready to go. Welcome back, everybody. As promised, I will head out for a revenge raid. Not sure if I showed this off in the last clip because that was 12 hours ago. I've done, yeah, done a load of progress in here. Just got these three corner walls left to do. Well, two walls and a door. Right then, let's head out. Haven't scouted the base yet. I'm going completely overprepared in the hope that, I don't know, I would just like to get a completely open plan base that has, show me the dealer. No, thank you. I would rather go and raid dead Myers, dead Mayers, whatever you want to be called. 
let's take your stuff, since you stole a shotgun from us. So, as you can no doubt tell, there's no game sound. It's turned on in the settings. I'm just not allowed any, apparently. No idea why. Just does that sometimes. Oh, uh, great. Right, looks like it's low level base. Let's see what we're getting from here. Woodworking chest in there. He has a chopper. Ooh, with the radioactive pattern on. That's quite nice. Right. Hmm. Let's just break in through here. Three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, great. It's a honeycomb base. Five, six. I know it's ironic because I have a base like this, but I do hate honeycomb bases. Hey, starting to look at some stone there. Yep, you can all die. Hmm. Let's go for this one. So this is going to take a while to find any loot, I'm guessing. You know what? Might as well go for a low-level wall if we got the resources to do it. I uh, started hitting that one already. <sighs> Ooh. Right. One. Two. Just going to hit each of the chests twice. And let's do this. Oof, already burnt through our hatchet supply so much. No, don't hit that. Ugh, that does so much damage to our hatchet. One, two. Right, what have we got left? Okay. You know what? I'm just going to break into these ones quickly. No, break open the box. I'll take that. Couple of guns. Few more guns. Holy crap. That is what we like to see on a raid. Alright, well. Might not be getting some absolutely amazing stuff, but. Uh, stop doing that, game. Uh, let's switch out that. Uh, I should probably kill these guys. See, I thought I'd over prepared on the hatchet front. But no, apparently not. Right. Okay, let's um exchange that for that. Exchange that for that. And that for that. Ooh, actually, that's only a half health. Ugh, stop doing that. Right. There's a little chest there, which I'm guessing is going to be nothing that good at all. Hmm. Raids like this are always a bit on the lackluster side. C4, you can get stored away. Flare gun, limited time item. And that. So, as it is, got a free flare gun. And phew, I've got enough to open one chest. Ah, oh, didn't notice that. Got a VSS. Right. I'm just going to open that green chest. I strongly dislike bases like this. But it serves to definitely reinforce the fact that I'm not going to lose much when it gets to actual people raiding bases. Let's take these and let's take the little hatchet. Hmm. Yeah. Can I? Should I? You know what? Might as well. <sighs> Nothing amazing. It's new shoes tiny bit better than mine. Have I got enough to break in through here? Nope. No, I don't. Uh, I've got two empty inventory slots. Hmm. Well, that wave was a bit on the crap side. I mean, got a ton of guns. Always nice. But I've already got a load of guns. I like going out raiding to get the steel. Steel is what I'm in it for. Yeah, it's just spike walls all around. Uh, yeah, that's 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 just disappointing. 
Right, so what have we got? There we go. Uh, let's line this up. Since don't have to worry about big one turning up. Because we're not going to be getting into the main base area. Like not raising the noise enough for, to worry about him. And let's do that. There we go. And take a screenshot of it. Right. Thank you for watching the episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. A bit of base upgrades and a rather boring but gun-rich raid. Goodbye.